Right, so today's tutorial is going to be on TaskRay, which is brought to which is brought to us by Bracket Labs, a Colorado-based uh, team who have been developing a few apps for Salesforce, uh, for Salesforce, and we've been using TaskRay for about six months now. So I just wanted to overview it because when I searched on YouTube or you know why did Google, wasn't too much on it in terms of a video apart from the uh, demo from Bracket Labs itself uh, which is very informative, it runs for about an hour. Uh, at the same time I thought well let's just do some real world stuff um, and let's uh, sort of go through what we have and sort of what we've been doing and see uh, that may help and sort of inform people when they're looking at a project management CMS uh, for uh, for Salesforce, so basically we're we're a web developer from Sydney. Um, we service clients Australia and New Zealand, and our staff uh, work on clients at any one time. So um, one project manager will work on f up to about thirty clients. At the moment, we've only got two um, project managers owing to some development uh, needs of ours to hire more. Um, so you can never get good ones. So uh, we feel as if we have the good ones and then uh, you know, we're worried that any new person won't be as good, but at the same time, you, that's not the way to grow. So uh, anyway, so we've got a team of five involved in sales, and sorry, involved in task ray. Um, let's just take an example. So. Well, let's just click on a client, um, one which is pretty much just started. So th this is called the Psychology Lounge. It's a psychology clinic based in Sydney. And with every project, there is about 19 tasks. Now we've ordered these. Uh, the way that uh, Salesforce, uh, the way that TaskRay does it is you've got like a holding column. You, you would have prioritized, you've got a started, and you've got a, we've got a finished. So when these tasks are all done, uh, which you can imagine, I mean, if it's already started, like deposit acknowledgement, look at the client information, prompt the client for a like, question list, etc., etc., register the domain, that's all at the start. And then now we're just waiting for these other tasks to complete sort of as the um, website gets made, etc., etc. So, um, yeah, so basically, um, this is this is how it works. So once you have a task, you can write some chatter fields on it, and chatter, as you know from Salesforce, is very very useful. And um, so if you go to chatter, then you can just write in. We, we can write in anywhere there, so that everybody has knowledge of you know what's been happening with that a particular step. Um, and yeah, and then you can set the date for these things as well. So, um, you know, it's um, it's just easy, you know, to set that so that person will come up, and when they log into Salesforce, then um, well, they can see that that's due at that time. So uh, well, that's how it works. You just move them around. A few of them have steps as well. So what you can do is when you do say build the draft website, there's checklists. And this is very very useful. So you can go through and like uh, check the question list, make sure the you know the client requests are there, um, leave tasks and started until chat is resolved. You know this kind of stuff. So it's just prompt, it, it's just guidance, but it's very very useful for every step. And uh, most of the it's most of the steps have this kind of um, well, the most have the well this guidance. And uh, yeah, I mean that makes life very very easy. And then you can go, you can go to the the details tab, and you can see the exact script to use. Well, that's always saved down there. So this is this is pretty much your whole thing. You know, you just prompted to do this, and it's got well, the checklist, it's got the script to send, it's got the instructions of what to do. Um, it, I mean that couldn't be easier. So our, our staff tend to love this because it is very prescriptive but at the same time if you have a question then you can ask you know someone more senior just through chatter and just prompt them to sort of help you with it but uh, largely that came that, that seems to be quite self-explanatory so 
that's very positive. The way that you can make it more meaningful for you is when you log in, it's like, right, I see all the tasks here, find. Well, let's have a look at my tasks. Um, and then you see, okay, I only have one and it's in holding, but that's not exactly true because I have to click on select all. And then you see that I've got like probably, yeah, so 11 tasks and prioritized. And then, um, you know, working on this stuff and, uh, you know, and then started is um, my stuff as well. So these are actually my um, weekly tasks um, which at the moment kind of in purgatory between me and support, but that is fine. Um, so yeah, so we just go through that and just do all these things. Um, so those are kind of, they stick there. I find started quite a good area for just sort of weekly tasks and you just, well, you just do them and then you just move on and they don't move, whereas your prioritized ones move. So they'll always move out of there straight from prioritized to finished. And then holding as people would, which people say, hey, Chris, you need to review this website, you need to coordinate this, then, you know, it, it gets dragged in by your project manager to for you to do. So that makes uh, life very, very easy. Um, and yeah, so that's where well, you can see it from there. And then you can also view it by my higher priority tasks. Um, that hasn't been assigned yet so um that's unusual but anyway yeah so nothing's obviously urgent um and then you can also see the tasks for anyone else as well so you can be, we, we can be like right let me filter on what uh if i just go through this do, 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 do. so if i go uh my tasks and then it's like view, view tasks as um okay not letting me do that hang on why is it not letting me do that um hmm. okay that's very annoying uh if i go on her what is it? oh my god it doesn't work all right well it it used to work why doesn't that work anyway um what else can we show you here okay uh replication so um basically well, you know, we actually just, just, just before I do replication, we stick everything into, um, you know, it's all it's all departmentalized. So Flora, she's an Australian worker. She, um, well, she's obviously starts from from there and goes downwards with, with all of her sort of augmented by alphabetical. But then you've got these other things which are like business development stuff, lead stuff, and support stuff, and those all kind of sit separately so there will always be like support stuff uh no doubt and although we are pretty good at clearing that out sort of seem to be every day um and then you've also got um a lot of business to a lot of bd stuff so that um looks like it's mostly for me um you can you know, see lots of stuff to do there as well so you can you can kind of create non-project things as well which is very useful um and then you've got say the australian project template so what you can do here is you set up one template which is all very nice and it's probably best to set this up you know one template for each project manager so that when you repeat them which is which i'm about to do here so what we do here is we click on more actions and we go edit project and this is to replicate it so you don't have to create the same steps like a thousand times if you have like a thousand projects you just push on clone and then you give it a name and then and then you clone it and that will show up down there and then it you know it it becomes one of these and then you're free to run with it and uh if you do need to change the name of the person who's who's responsible for the task then you just have to um, log it in, say there, and you have to say, oh, you know, that's that's uh, well, that's for him, and then it's like, well, obviously, I'm going to change that back. So you just drag in the person's face. So it's kind of where you've always got these 
a face is looking at you, but uh, that's how it works. Um, so that's an overview of Taskray, and basically.